gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road I just got an awesome vibe Striking the wind of hopes now Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new here, I just wanted to welcome you introduce myself my name is Kelly I live in Florida with my husband and two dogs and I do work full-time from home so today's video is just a typical morning for me um, I first thing I do is hydrate and then I put together my husband's lunch for him see him out the door and then I just get into some things around the house um, I try to always do a little bit of cleaning before my day starts just so that when I get off work in the afternoon things are a little more picked up and just makes for a better day. So come along with me. This video is about 24 minutes long so see what you can get done around your house or just sit back and watch me clean. was a little pathetic it was uh, Monday and so I didn't really have a meal that we had made the night before so my husband just ended up with some leftover wings that we had earlier in the weekend and normally I'll cook every night I'll cook something and then the leftovers he'll have for lunch the next day so caught me on a bad example here but he still ate he was fine I want to Speaking of my husband, I do want to say he did take the trash out for me this day, so I was just putting a new bag in while he was outside. recently received an order from Sam's Club. If you guys have a Sam's Club locally and you're a Plus member, I think it's so awesome that they offer this free delivery and I use it a lot. Whenever I run out of something, I'll just, you know, pop into their app and reorder. So on this day, or actually I received it a couple days prior, um, I received our K-Cup refills. We like this Cafe Bustella one. And then I also had ran out of olive oil. So that was what I was putting away. As I've mentioned in other videos, I always try to empty the dishwasher first thing in the morning. Doesn't always happen, but that's my goal. 
I like to empty it first thing in the morning and then I can fill it throughout the day. That way the sink stays clear, the countertop stays clear, and then I just run it overnight. Our dishwasher is on the fritz and it's making this horrible high-pitched sound every time it runs. So I definitely can only run it overnight when I don't need to hear that. <laughs> the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and i know that we're not perfect but i'm gonna miss all that we had yeah i know that we're not perfect but i need this night for the dog pepper and as you can see she thinks that this like memory cushion foam or whatever rug in front of my sink is her specific bed she like she normally is there the entire time and I just have to work around her you know that's her space not mine Forget we will always share a bond, no matter what cause you have so I always wash by hand a few things. My I always do my tumbler cups, the lids to our storage containers, and then any pots and pans. I don't put those in the dishwasher because I just feel like they last longer if you don't. And I really hate washing dishes, so <laughs> it's a real sacrifice on my part that I hand wash these. But I'll be okay if you stay, stay. usually will use Dawn dish soap. I feel like it works the best, but I had recently run out, so that's why I'm just using that Mrs. Myers, and it's not in the soap pump container. Um, I love Mrs. Myers, but sometimes it smells so strong, and I just, this was the basil scent, and I just felt like if I put it in that container, the soap dispenser built into my sink, that I would never get that smell out of there. So <laughs> I'm just going to use through this um, and then once I run out of that, then I'll go ahead and switch back to the Dawn. I feel like the Dawn really just has like, it's more of like a, a lather, it cuts through grease a lot better. I find it hard to read you. one side of my sink the other side is really just there for like drainage when the dishes are drying so I just clean the one side and I used Comet the liquid cleaner I really prefer this one with bleach my sink um, can easily get stained and so the bleach one really cleans it right up my sink isn't white to start with it's like a um, ivory color um, but this really does brighten it up and I love this product I will say that every
every single time I use this Comet product, since it has bleach in it, I end up bleaching whatever I'm wearing. So you can see here, I put on an apron first, and I think I still ended up getting one little splatter on my sleeve. picking up some things around the kitchen, straightening things up. Um, we always use the bags in the crock pot, the like liners that you get. And I just noticed that we had used the crock pot the night before, but I noticed there was a little residue in there. Sometimes like the moisture can get in between the bag and the crock pot. So I went ahead and cleaned that out and and then I saw that we ran out of liners. That was the last one that I was using. So I went on to the Sam's Club app, speaking of their great prices, I went on there to order more. And I swear to you, the price, I feel like it used to be like $5 something for the big bag of liners. And now it's like $10. I'll need to go back and look because I swear it used to be so cheap. Like I remember being like, why is this so cheap? But you know, those days are gone. <laughs> so today I'm just making uh, green chili enchiladas. I think I've shown this in a video before. It's one of my like go-to dinners when I don't have anything planned. I like to keep the ingredients on hand. And so I just threw that in there so that could cook during the day. A lot of times I'll make a portion of the meal, like the meat portion of, of a meal in the crock pot while I'm working. And that way when I get off work, for instance, today, I don't show it in this video because this is just my morning, but I went ahead and just assembled them, you know, when I got off work, by then it was done cooking and it cooled enough for me to work with it. So I just assembled the enchiladas into the tortillas and, and put some cheese and baked it. Um, but the meat was already taken care of for me. Watching this back, I can see that on top of my refrigerator, I need to clean that. <laughs> it looks a little dusty and then I've been storing some pans and I think there's like some clean wrap and maybe parchment paper up there. Um, but I can't see that from my height, so I kind of forgot about it. So I should get up there and, and take care of that. have a setup like this where your microwave is above your stove I think it's so annoying as you can see here it's like way too low and it's so obnoxious like all the steam just goes right to my microwave there is a, a vent underneath it which works but it's it's not doing enough to make any difference so that's on my list of things I really want to do soon is to remove the microwave from there and put in like a nice hood Honestly, this whole kitchen is going to get a rehaul at some point, but, you know, money.
using the Mr. Clean Clean Freak spray and that's in the lemon scent. So this tray, this tiered tray, ended up in my kitchen and it's just been getting cluttered up with random things. And really that was more of a decor piece, so I don't know why I even put it in the kitchen, but it was time to get it back out of there. Um, I recently saw some cute things at Walmart for a tiered tray, like they sell little sets. And so I decided to clean it off and I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna actually decorate with it in the future so i just wanted to get it out of there for right now things will never be the same like strangers again 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 strangers again 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 like strangers again 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 i just know things will never be the same like strangers again This little pass-through window between our kitchen and the Florida room tends to collect a lot of things, in particular dog things like their vitamins and different you know, sprays or whatnot. So I went ahead and cleared that off of there to give it a fresh start. The dogs eat in the Florida room, so that's kind of the place where things end up in that window but I really have another spot for it. So clear that out, gave my plant a little bit of water. And here I'm just showing you my nice, shiny, clean kitchen. Things feel so much better when the counters are clear in the kitchen, right? Like it's just like when you walk in there, you're like, oh, peace. <laughs> decided to scrub down the refrigerator water and ice dispenser we do have hard water we'll get some like hard water stains here so I'm just scrubbing it down I got this scrub mommy brush or sponge rather and so I'm just using a little bit of dish soap and some warm water I think it did the trick no strangers again. These wipes I really enjoy. They do sell a spray also, but I find these wipes go pretty far. I can usually do like all of the appliances or with one, or sometimes I'll use two to do all of them. But our refrigerator, our microwave, our oven, and our dishwasher are all stainless steel. So I think that's pretty good. And there's quite a few of them in the, in the canister that they come in. I will say the first time I used them, I was like, this isn't working, but you really have to just like keep scrubbing and then it will just, it'll shine up. At first it just looks like greasy when you do it. Also, I gave you this shot just to show you. I know for some reason on the camera, everything looks so clean, but I'm telling you in person, it, it's not. Like you can see there's a bunch of like smudges and stuff. Now we don't have children, so 
I'm sure the moms watching this are like, I wish my fridge looked like the before shot because <laughs> I don't have little handprints or anything, but it still gets smudgy. you guys can relate to this this pass-through window between our kitchen and our family room is another place where stuff just collects and so I'm just going through and trying to find a home for everything put everything where it belongs and then as you can see as I was cleaning the kitchen I sort of moved stuff over to here so I'm the worst at that I'll just clean things and then oh I think the Roomba just hit the camera um, I'll just clean things and as I'm cleaning, I'll just like, you know, take it out of the room I'm cleaning and then it just ends up in the next room and then when I clean that room, I'll do the same and eventually stuff finds its home. Our front entry light, not this one that I'm changing now, but the one behind me in this video, um, that light had recently burnt out and so I went to replace it and I found at Walmart they had these smart bulbs that were like $7. So I was like, what the heck, I'll give it a try. And they can go from warm to cool. And then they can also change colors, like you could make it green or whatever color. And so I picked one up for the front and it worked pretty well. So I went ahead and got another one and I'm just replacing this hallway light. While I was up there, I decided to test the smoke detector that was there and it was so loud. I didn't realize it's a smoke detector and a carbon monoxide detector. So the dogs, when that was going off, they both came downstairs, like looked at me like, what's going on? And then the light, when I turned it on, was trying to um, set itself up through the app. And so that was flashing and it was, it was a little chaotic there for a minute. It's all about us As we're dancing close together Making out It's all about us It's all about us There's some magic in your eyes Can't get enough Feel your hands Next up, I just do some vacuuming I try to hit the stairs every day I don't always do it But I really need to The dog hair is insane And so I just vacuum up of course, I've got the Roomba running too, and that helps a lot. I cannot hide it. We won't regret it. So come with me, maybe one By this point, it was probably about 6.45ish, and the sun was starting to come up, so I just needed to take the dogs out really quick before I started my work day. And then before I go upstairs, I always try to just grab whatever needs to go up and take it with me. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for being here. Can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.